Aaron Rodgers was seemingly caught in a lie. The defending MVP this week tested positive. He is going to be out uh, this Sunday in this Sunday's game. Jordan Love will get the start. It was revealed also that Aaron Rodgers was in fact not vaccinated. Uh, he actually claimed that he was back in August. He claimed that he was immunized. This has gotten a lot of people talking, but le- before we get to any of that, let's take a listen to Aaron Rodgers claiming that he was vaccinated from back in August. Let's take a listen to that. Aaron, you said you like to learn as many things as you can to hang in any conversation. Are you vaccinated and what's your stance on, on vaccinations? Yeah, I've been immunized. Um, you know, there's a lot of uh, a lot of conversation around it, around the league, and a lot of guys who have made statements and have made statements, owners who made statements. Um, you know, there's guys on the team that haven't been vaccinated. Uh, I think it's a personal decision. I'm not going to judge those guys. Um, there's guys who have been vaccinated that contracted COVID. Um, so it's it's an interesting issue. So Rodgers... Like I said, tested positive this week, and the reason why he's going to be out this Sunday, the reason why he's potentially could miss next week's game against Seattle is because of his unvaccinated status. We found out that he, in fact, was not vaccinated. Instead, he tried to submit some home remedies as uh, immunizations, which the NFL later denied. Um, and it's caused a firestorm of controversy, obviously, and a lot of people are saying that he got caught in a lie. I'm going to address that first one before uh, you get to that, Andrew. I think we can both agree he definitely got caught in a lie because if someone asks you up front, whether or not you agree with the vaccine, I don't care, but if someone asks you up front, hey, are you vaccinated up for COVID, you know what he's talking about. Don't just say, "Oh, I'm immunized," and then just and and then just like act like, like you like you told them the truth. You didn't. You lied. And again, it's not even so much as a problem of him not getting the vaccine. That's his personal choice, right? But for you to go out there and lie, knowing what people thought, it, it it's. It doesn't make you look good. It doesn't make your team look good. I think it puts your team in a situation where they might not have been prepared for that because, the remember, the rules for players who are vaccinated versus players who are unvaccinated are different as far as how that COVID protocol goes. Um, so I think we can agree he was caught in a lie. But, Andrew, what do you kind of make of the controversy as a whole? You know, we'll talk about the impact it'll have on the Packers in just a minute. But what do you make of just this, the way this is played out? Because you could argue from a PR perspective, this looks pretty bad. It definitely does, especially with the whole lying thing and everything like that. This is a guy that, you know, he's a Aaron Rodgers is a brand ambassador for mm. for for the NFL, basically, like won the MVP, like. How many commercials has Aaron Rodgers been in the past couple of years? You know, State Farm guy and everything like that. It's this is this is a this is a bad 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 look for the brand and everything like that. It's like you have to ask yourself. It's like I mean, what else is he lied about then? It's like I don't even know. Like you know, you you could nitpick and all that stuff. It's it's just not a good look for the brand and everything, especially with something like that critical. Like he he's he's got to sit out now because of the whole. He's got to sit out now because of the whole like. Um, COVID thing, and that's dumb. Like it, it's counterintuitive. It hurts his team because losing Aaron Rodgers, like losing Aaron Rodgers, is that's that's not just your average like quarterback. Like that, that's, that's your team. This, this is this, this dude won the MVP last year for a reason. Like th- there's a reason why you know they taught like they fought tooth and nail to try to kind of make things right with him. Aaron Rodgers is one of those dudes like you really just can't replace. And they're going to be without him for the next couple of weeks. So not, definitely not a good look uh, on his end. Definitely not. Yeah, not a good look. And, you know, it's worth to note that he's not the only, like, you know, MVP caliber quarterback who hasn't gotten uh, the shot. You know, Lamar Jackson and other guys, Ravens fan, I've been keeping a close eye on that. Um, but the thing is, I, I think they just made Cam, like, literally just I'm, announced, like, recently that he's vaccinated now. He, he might have. He might have. So that's another big name quarterback. But I, I think. The issue is, you know, and I think Matt LaFleur addressed this by saying it was like Aaron's personal decision, which it is. And I look, I am not going to get into the debate about vaccinated versus unvaccinated on this show right now. 
I think the bigger deal here is that it was just a bold face lie. And, you know, you can say, well, that bold, oh, well, that did, that wouldn't have mattered anyway because he still would have missed this game. You're right. But I think the people probably would have treated him differently had this been had this information been out there. I think because and, you know, like, look, you can't just go around like lying to people saying you're vaccinated when you're really not. You know, I, I, I think that's a shitty thing to do in general. You know, like, just be honest about it if you're asked about it. Um, or he could have just said, you know, I'm not going to reveal that information right now. Like, everyone's entitled to their privacy. I'm not going to tell anyone whether I'm vaccinated. You're not going to. You, you, Andrew, you don't need to tell anyone. Okay? But, but, but that's not what it's about. It's about the fact that he lied and he got caught. And it's, that's, it's that simple. Um, now, Andrew, as far as the impact this is going to have on the team. Aaron Rodgers is going to miss this Sunday's game. We're going to see Jordan Love. We'll talk about Love in just a second. But, man, what is the impact going to be not having Aaron Rodgers in the lineup, not having what he brings, that ability to just score at will in in the two-minute drill, probably the greatest two-minute drill in NFL history? How is this going to impact the Packers? I mean, that's huge, dude. Like, I understand they're playing Kansas City. Kansas City's a team that can put up points, even though that defense, they're playing flag football in that secondary in Kansas City. Um, Because they they, they can't tackle. They can't can't cover nobody. Uh, It's just, you know, there's there's a big drop-off when you go from Aaron Rodgers to Jordan Love. Nothing against Jordan Love. Like, we still don't know much about him. And... I, I look back to like the Cardinals game, right? When you want to think about the impact that losing Aaron Rodgers, as opposed to like, you know, having like Devontae Adams, for example, is you could bring back Devontae Adams. You know, they're still going to have um, the running back, uh, jo- Jones, Aaron Jones, and everything. Aaron like Jones. That. You, you don't, they don't beat Arizona without Aaron Rodgers. They don't beat Arizona without Aaron Rodgers. With, you know, his ability to control tempo, you know, be a game manager, you know, be a gamer, be a playmaker, be all that stuff. They don't win that game. Thanks for watching this video from Real Take Sports Talk. Remember to like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you get notified whenever a new video is released. Also remember to check out our live show every single Thursday at 8 p.m. right here on the YouTube channel. And remember, keep it real.